finished? I have to be in the posing council office by 5 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, so I will be finished by then one way or another. Wow, you sound tired. Literally lost my voice. Is that the case about those people who got sick from drinking water with benzene in it? People of Little Wall versus B.I.G. refineries. Oh, that was horrible. Somebody died, right? Yep, Mr. Santos, and 13 kids got really sick. Who knows how many more deaths there will be in the future. That's scary, isn't it? To think that the water you're drinking might be killing you. It's certainly not something we can take for granted. We had a case like that once. Jet fuel in the water. I didn't drink anything but carrot juice for a month. Turned my skin orange. Oh, by the way, we have the room booked from 3 to 5. Okay, I'll get the boxes out of here by then and finish up in my office. I use the term office loosely. It's a cubby hole. You could just leave the boxes you were working on here. Leonard won't mind. Just put them up against the wall. Okay, thanks. Well, time for my daily protein fix. You want to diet again? It's not called a diet anymore. It's a lifestyle change. Right. <sighs> it's healthy, right? Raw nuts are supposed to be protein and good brain food. At least that's what they say. Even though I'm tired a lot. Hi, Amy. Hi, Pamela. How's it going? Fine. Uh, looking for something in particular? No. No. Leonard and Julie booked the room for 3 o'clock, just trying to get the documents sorted by then. What do you have to do after that? Scan them, add the bait numbers, and just print them out. Huh. Doesn't that take a long time, using one of those archaic staffing machines with the little bottle of ink you use to put on the pad, either putting on too much or too little, and ink getting all over everything. You know, I always hated doing that. Well, if I had to do it that way, it'd take a week and I'd probably quit before I was done. So, how do you do it? On the computer. It takes just a minute and it's really easy. Then I can put all the documents with the bait numbers on a disk and print them out with a high-speed printer. Hmm. Well, that's great. Yep. It should be done in plenty of time. Not quite. Can't be too careful, though. There's always a chance the scanner will break or the computer will freeze or, I don't know, I'll be struck by lightning on my way to work. Well, we'd probably get an extension in that event. You know, it's really funny, but I could have sworn I saw a document in here from a doctor who treated Mr. Santos when he worked in a... I think you're probably mistaken. You're probably getting it confused with another case. You know, the uh, cases all seem to run together after a while. Well, I'll leave you to it. Keep up the good work. You sound tired, sweetie. She should really stop looking for phantom documents before she drives herself crazy. There are no medical documents of that nature in this room. And I would know. It's my case, after all. That was fast. I lost my appetite. You want to go get a big hunk of chocolate cake? What's wrong? We don't have to get cake. Well, we come in here for a second. What's the matter? You've been working late the last couple of nights, right? Do you see anyone going through these boxes? Mm, no, just Pamela. Who else would? Why would they want to? Pamela was in here? Yeah, she was in here last night about 11 o'clock, sitting on the floor, rummaging through boxes, obviously looking for something. I'm sure she had every reason to. She is one of the attorneys on the case, after all. Of course. Hey, Julie? Yes? May I ask you a hypothetical question? <laughs> well, the old hypothetical. Go for it. Mind you, 
My question has absolutely no basis in reality, has nothing to do with what's going on now or has ever gone on in this office or in my life. What would you do if you suspected one of the attorneys you work for had extracted a document that was demanded by the opposing side? That might just be a little detrimental to the client. That maybe could have a very negative impact on the outcome of the case. Hmm, gee, that's a tough one. You mean if this hypothetical person who doesn't have anything to do with you now, hasn't in the past, or won't in the future, forever and ever doesn't say anything? Right, what are the possible consequences? I'm not sure. I'm certainly not thinking clearly on this stupid diet. You mean lifestyle change? Whatever. Look, let's go get a piece of cake and some pie and talk about this hypothetical question business. Sounds good to me.